Hazlip is taking a staycation this year, so the series is going to take place in a castle in the UK. It's going to be slightly different, isn't it? <laughs> How will the celebs fare in the British winter? We're joined now by Series 7, King of the Jungle, Christopher Biggins. Oh, lovely to see him this morning. And survival expert, Ray Mears, who knows everything anyone would ever need to know about surviving in the Britain in the wild. Um, but let's chat to Christopher Biggins, first of all. First of all, how would you have coped? Uh, we think it might be Wales. That's, the, that's where the money is at the moment, in a castle in Wales in the British winter instead of the outback. Which is haunted, I believe. Well, that's what they say. Ghosts yes, and I'd ghoulies. Like to, I'd like to put forward my friend Sean Phillips to play the haunted woman. OK. <laughs> I think she'd be very good. I can see her now prowling the uh, corridors of the castle. Well, I don't think I would have enjoyed it very much because even though... Kate, did you have storms when you were in Australia? We did have a big storm, yes, one night. Yeah, we did. washed everything we did away too. and everybody yeah. went and sheltered in the little hut. Um, That's right. Which, which I think was the residence of Caitlin at the point, which she yeah. wasn't massively keen that we yeah. all rushed in and joined her. But... Um, well, it was quite depressing. When you get cold and wet, it adds another horrible. layer of challenge, doesn't it? And that was just one night, wasn't it, of our yeah. three weeks? Yeah. So I don't know, it'll be every night in Wales, won't it? Well, you'd think <laughs> it would be a lot colder and wetter, that's for sure. Exactly. I'm not sure I could take the cold. Uh, Ray's looking rather cynical there. I can see him thinking to himself, of course he could. But I, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 and also, is there a hotel for Saatchi nearby? I, I'm not sure in Wales. <laughs> I, I, I doubt it. I doubt it, Biggins. Uh, let's ask Ray. Ray, so if you, you know, you, let's assume they are going to be the outdoors. I mean, even if they are in the castle itself, it's probably a bit of a ruin. It's not going to be terribly warm and pleasant place to be. What are your top tips of survival? Uh, sort of, uh, when will they film? When do they film? At November time, is it? When would this yeah. be? No, yeah, November. November. So November in Britain, Ray. What, what's, what are your top tips for the contestants? Well, I mean, I, mean, I think you've hit the nail on the head. It's going to be the cold and the wet, isn't it? Um, I think... Uh, if people are sitting at home, they often fear the jungle, but actually my experience of taking people on expeditions, they like the jungle because it's warm and you can actually more or less relax. But when it comes to cold and wet, that's a whole different story. So I think they need to sort of be able to lobotomize themselves, to turn off that part of their brain that says they're miserable and uncomfortable and, uh, and develop a waterproofness in their minds. I think that's the key thing. Wow. Very interesting. I mean, uh, you know, Biggins, um, we, it's an incredible team that makes this show. So we know oh, whatever amazing. it is, it's going to be, you know, fantastic. And Anton Deck are always so brilliant hosting it and make it so much fun. Yeah. And the celebrities will draw us in, I'm sure, and we will all be watching Glued. But it will, I think, be slightly different, don't you think? Because this year, we've all been through the sensation of being isolated, of being cut off, not being able to see friends and family, which is a big part of the challenge of, of being in the jungle. Did you find that too? Absolutely. I, I couldn't agree more with you. I mean, you know, it, is, it, is, it was uh, preparing you for the isolation that we've done now. Uh, when, we, when you're in the jungle. I mean, I think that it's... It, the, the only thing I think is very positive about it is Ant and Deck will be back on television for three weeks making us laugh, and I yeah. think they will get a lot of laughs out of the situation of putting, you know, 12 celebrities through the most hideous... Uh, uh, features of the, of the of the countryside in, in in Great Britain at that particular time of the year. I think you know I can just now I can see it now icicles forming on the end of noses uh, and things. You know I, I think it'll be terrifying. I certainly wouldn't want to be in it this year, but I think it's going to be great fun to watch. Mm. They'll probably do trials to win hot bo water bottles and things like that, won't they? <laughs> and what about the food? Because actually the you know going without food is a big part of it too. <laughs> and if you're cold. We all like lots of stodge, don't we, when we're cold and in the winter. It's going to be an even bigger factor, I would say, this time. I think that's probably when we need Richard Spotted Dick. 
Well, we always need Richard Arnold's spotted dick. That could be said of any crisis situation. Ray, not just the, for the jungle campmates, but also people generally. Camping has become a big thing for people this summer. You know, it's been harder to go abroad. He's talking about Richard questioning Arnold. Going abroad. <laughs> um, yeah, there's camping in all forms, isn't there? Um, but yeah, uh, it's been harder to go abroad. Uh, I think Boris and Carrie apparently are camping in Scotland. What advice would it, you give to people who are first-time campers here in the UK? What should they take okay. with us um, and how well, should I, they prepare themselves? That's easy. Um, I think the thing is, just go comfortable. Um, you need something to sleep on that's, that, that keeps you warm and uh, that's soft. If you've got a tent for the first time, families out for the first time, put a, put a blanket down over the top of the sleeping mat Take duvets, take pillows so that you can relax and you've got somewhere comfortable to, to sleep. Make sure you've got some insect repellent. But, but, you know, enjoy it because our countryside is amazing. And I think this year has taught us more than ever how important it is to be able to get out and enjoy what we've got. Mm. So, yeah, just, just be comfortable. Try and be comfortable. Apparently, Boris and Carrie are doing some camping in Scotland. I've been camping in Scotland. It's a fantastic place to camp. But I got absolutely bitten to heck by midges. I did look oh, like yeah, Richard Arnold's yeah, spotted yeah. dick, to be honest. <laughs> by the way. I, was, I was covered in it. Honestly, you've got to be really, really careful. So, insect repellent, I would say. <sighs> if people could do trials on I'm a Celebrity to win insect repellent, that's going to be yeah, yeah, Brilliant. Uh, Christopher Biggins, absolute legend. Thank you so much for joining us. Ray Mears, legend as well. Hey, Thank you both you. for joining us Bye, this morning. Bye. Bye. Thank you.